Hello guys, me Carl Santos, aka Happy Carnal 95, and welcome to my last NASCAR Heat 5 career mode race. So, it's Phoenix International Raceway, or Phoenix Raceway, I should say, but you don't want to read the way that I titled it because I was in the championship four and I tried the best I can to beat Austin Cindric, but wasn't meant to be and as I, you can tell in my qualifying lap I'm really desperate trying to be in the top 5 or top 10 as far as where my track position is and I mean what can I say <sighs> really mediocre qualifying efforts this season and it's being wasted here you know so let's just see how well I qualify. And it's a 27.082, 18th fastest. Not good enough. Tried everything in the setup and it's not working for me. And I'm telling you guys, this is legend difficulty and this is not what to expect when I actually race here in Phoenix. So. Hmm. So let's get the show underway and start the season finale at Phoenix. Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. And the green flag is out. And Alan Santos is starting from 18 and trying to claw his way through the field and uses the flatter part of the racetrack to gain spots. So here it is. I'm only going to show you guys the four to five laps of the beginning of the race and then fast forward to where the climax or the falling action appears, you know. And did you see Alex Albay? Yeah. I'm surprised somebody would pass me this early in the race and then drive away. Oh well, we gave it our all this season, but spoiler alert, I went and did some off camera and tried to win the championship and I did, and not the way I wanted to win, but hey, I gave it all I got, tried to get a, a cup, an Xfinity, a truck, and a dirt a string dirt tour championship in only two seasons uh, I did selected races so I don't get stressed so. yeah I had school back in August so it's not what you expect from my career mode where I'm actually having a busy schedule and actually trying to work things out here and there Look at me drop back and guys passing me left to right. Now, not when I want to see the. We're almost at the four minute mark. Or in this video clip. But let's see. Now I'm in 11th. I gained a few spots. But I was really aggressive. I mean, really aggressive when you're on the restore. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. Mm, that was not a great restore. I I don't know who ran away from me. It's one of the Bobby Daughter cars, you know. Maybe like Joe Grofter here, I believe. But you can see the. You can rewind the video and see your pat. Oh. What's your hat? And see, oh. Not another guy passing me again. Yep, and I'm, I was right. Go, Joe Grafter Jr. passed me. This is surprising here. Yeah, Richmond and 
New Hampshire are one of my weakest tracks too as far as the flat track, you know. Learning how to stop the car and make it rotate for the center. It's not my thing. Especially for Kevin Harvey, Kyle Busch, Joe Lagana. They got these flat track programs figured out, you know. And I don't even consider Pocono to be a flat racetrack because we have banking in the turns, you know. Like combining Trenton, Milwaukee Mile, and Indianapolis. So, I would say, ooh, I'm knife. <laughs> Let's see if I can gain some more spots. Oh man, who passed me there? Yep, Riley Yurps. I don't know what's happening. Am I uh, running the tires too hard? Hmm. Justin Haley trying to pass me? And uh, Timmy Hill. Timmy Hill passing me. And who else? Uh oh. I gotta cut the dong leg there. <laughs> it's not cheating in NASCAR, but this Phoenix is the only racetrack where you can use all the racetrack, including the the inside wall. I'm telling you. I mean, whoever designed the racetrack, I get them an A plus. I'm telling you, don't let cutting the dog lane prevent you from being passed feverishly for a championship because that's the way difficulty of trying to win here every season is supposed to be. So, where am I at? Uh, yep, David Starr passed me. Who else? That, uh, yep, John Rob Jr. passed me. Yeah, these back markers aren't supposed to pass me, so. Oh, I'm supposed to stop here, so. Make a happy car on 9.5. You can see the, uh, the video clip where I crash, so. I'll see you guys later in F1 2020, and peace out. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so click on that thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you have any thoughts or feelings about the most recent YouTube video you just saw, share a comment right below the description so I can share some thoughts and feelings with others in the community and make them feel welcome. So. I'm AKA Happy Carnot 957. Y'all have a great day and peace out.